In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an unidentified error occurred on the PlayStation Store when you're trying to buy something on your PS5. So the first thing you want to do is get out of the PlayStation Store and go to the settings cogwheel in the top right corner. Once you're here, go to Network, Connection Status, and View PlayStation Network Status. If any of these are down, this could be one of the reasons as to why you're getting the unidentified error. But assuming everything's in the green here, the next thing we're gonna be taking a look at is going back to settings, users and accounts. We're gonna to go to account once this loads and we're gonna to go to payment and subscriptions. Now I want you to go to play payment methods. And if you're using a VPN, I recommend you turn this off because oftentimes if you're to try and purchase something on the PlayStation store, you can have this error pop up as well as you wanna make sure all of this information is correct under your payment methods. So what you can actually do is press the options button on your controller, delete your payment method, re-input the information just to ensure it's all correct, and then you can try and buy something on the PlayStation Store and see if that fixes the issue. Now let's assume that's not a problem here, everything's correct. We're gonna go back now. And another thing I've heard is that by adding funds to your wallet manually can oftentimes fix the issue too. So if you're redeeming codes, you could try inputting it here and adding wall, uh, money to your wallet and see if that helps. And same thing goes for your credit or debit card. Now let's say you're still experiencing issues at this point. The next thing we're going to be doing is changing our email address. Now I have heard in some cases that if you actually change your email address to something else, this can fix the issue. Although it's a little bit of a tedious process, I'm sure a lot of people don't wanna follow this step, but you could always try that through your PlayStation. Now let's assume you've done that or you didn't want to do it. Another thing you could actually try is go to users and accounts and go to other and try restoring the licenses for your downloaded content to see if that helps fix the issue. This only takes a couple seconds to do so and worst case, it doesn't work. Now the last step you could also try is restarting your console. So turn it off and unplug everything for about 10 to 15 minutes. Go to the PlayStation store and see if that fixes the issue. Hopefully this video was helpful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.